Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I've got a really fun list for you guys. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the top five Riot built knives. Now, these are my favorites from my collection. I know Riot has made so, so, so many good models over the years. Um, to narrow it down to five really almost isn't fair. But again, these are just my favorites, what I think to be the best that I've experienced so far. And uh, there is quite a list to choose from. As you guys are going to see, unfortunately, none of these knives are really available at the moment. That is kind of the one, uh, the double-edged sword to this video is none of them are available because Riot makes them in, you know, somewhat smaller numbers than the bigger production guys, as well as they sell really fast once they hit the market. So... This is more to kind of just recap what I think, what I really like, and to make you guys aware that Riot does a lot more than just make Riot knives. They make they make knives and production runs for so many makers out there, and they're all fantastic. Um, to be totally honest, there may be one or two Riot built knives that I've handled in the past that I just don't have with me anymore. Um, so I'm kind of just leaving those ones out. Those are really hard to find. But anyway, these are the, the five best I have in my collection right now to share with you guys. So we're going to get right on with it. And we're going to start off with an honorable mention. And this one here is the Urban EDC F5.5. This is a collaboration between Urban EDC and Jesper Voxness. And it highlights a lot of good things about Riot, but it also kind of... I don't want to say this is like a budget version of a Riot because it definitely isn't, but it's not quite the regular materials you see Riot using. It's not the full titanium or the marble carbon fiber inlay. It's more of just, you know, a base micarta handle with um, inset liners, which, you know, not something you usually see from Riot. Usually they're a little higher end stuff, but what they did here was they still did it really, really good. Everything is very solid, well-built. The liner is... I, I guess I can't say it's super different from a lot of other liners, but it just it locks up really well. The inset liners are super smooth and flush. Just very, very clean. You have excellent ergonomics, which, as you should know, always comes with a Vox design. And you just have a very, very clean finish. Very nice micarta. Um, I, I don't want to say call it chamfering, but kind of a, I guess, just kind of a knocking down the sides, giving those the little flat edges there that they do a really good job of. And there's just, there's no phrase, there's no nothing. And the action on this guy is just super, super smooth. Excellent knife to middle finger flick or thumb flick. Just an excellent piece. And it, I believe the price on this was around $200. I think it was $200. Um, I've said this before in the past. Um, I am positive that uh, Urban EDC will eventually do another run of these. They just got to, you know, wait their turn in line because unfortunately... When you're as good as Riot, you have a lot of people coming to you. So, of course, there's longer lead times, longer waits. Um, you know, it just is what it is. It's the nature of the beast. Uh, but I thought this had to uh, at least get mentioned on here because it is an excellent, excellent make by Riot. And it, it's not quite what you're going to see in uh, this true top five. It's just a little, a little more simpler of a build, I guess. So this here is the Urban EDC F5.5. Now we're going into the top five, and let's start it off with none other than just a bruiser of a knife, none other than the Chavez Redention 229, Redention, Redention 229, and uh, man, it's it, it, this is just a big slab of badassery. It, it feels great in hand. Nick Shabazz made a really good point on one of his episodes a day or two ago about not necessarily this clip, but clips in general, um, it's kind of a conception that narrower clips don't would feel better in the hand, but it's actually wider clips that really do feel better in the hand. They disperse the they disperse the surface out more on your palm to where if this was just a real thin little line, you'd feel it more, but since it's so flat, this really does. This clip feels great in my hand. I have absolutely no issues with it. There is absolutely zero hot spots with this clip. 
Um, the only thing that's hot with this Clips is the look of it because I think it looks awesome. Not everybody's cup of tea and I wouldn't want it on all my knives, but I really do like it on this one. And this is a blade where Riot just does an absolute flex on the game. There's there's not many other manufacturers that can do what they do with their blades. I mean, this thing here, it's a hollow grind that is just absolutely laser beam thin at the edge. I mean, this is an absolute workhorse of a knife with M390. The action is super, super smooth. This is one of, and when it comes to action alone, nothing else, just the action, this is one of the better Riots, one of the best Riots I've ever handled. You can middle finger flick it just fine. It just comes and drops. It is just an excellent knife and a very big knife. This is not small. This is the farthest thing from small. We'll do a little size comparison with this later with another another knife that uh, actually the knife that's coming up next. We'll set next to this just to give you guys an idea. This is a big knife. I believe this guy was coming in at like 325 or 350 and again it's not available right now but i'm sure ramon chavez will be doing more runs of these he just did a another run of his uh his tack knife which is a tiny ass knife a smaller version um yeah, obviously has the same style as these but still different looks um but this here is just an excellent excellent offering from riot really shows off what they can do with the grinding of a blade and they really can do some just some absolutely phenomenal work that is the chavez retention 229 next up we have one of my favorites and i think a lot of you guys might have thought this would have been higher on my list but i think it fits in well at number four this is the pena x series front flipper and really any front flippers this is the apache model um, but really any pena x series front front flippers can be inserted into this spot here because they're all they're all really awesome. This one I particularly like a little more just because I really like this Apache style blade and it just looks it 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 just looks very streamlined, very attractive, fits well in the pocket. Not super deep carry, you're going to have uh about that much sticking out of the pocket. So not necessarily going to disappear in the pocket, but it's super light, it's small, it, it it still feels and carries very, very well. And to give you an idea of that Redention 229, we'll set it up next to that. And as you can see, yeah, it, uh, it dwarfs it. It definitely dwarfs it. So there you go. Now the Redention can have its seat. Um... But no, the, uh, the Pena is just a great, great knife. The only thing that I think everyone kind of uh, doesn't like so much about him is the availability of him. You can kind of say that for a lot of Riots, but especially the Penas. He does make them in smaller runs because, you know, you, there's a lot of funds that, re that are required to be put up front for these knives. This is, this is not, a, uh, this is not a, a cheap run by any means. I mean, you're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars that have to be put up front. And, you know, it, not everyone has a money tree out back. So so there is some justifiable reasoning to why Penas are as hard to get as they are. But regardless, nonetheless, if it's a knife that attracts you and one that you like, I highly recommend to keep going after one because they do not disappoint. I really, really love these. Um, you can do all sorts of... Let's see if I can get this. Yeah, there you go. You can do the reach around. And uh, more than anything, it's just a detent that is perfectly dialed in. And the way your finger, the action on it is just so, so crisp. You get an amazing clicking sound. Just very, very fidgety and an excellent, excellent build. I, I could say excellent, excellent build for every one of these. I'll try not to, but it's really hard because they're that good. Um, these guys come in at, I believe, 273, 270, something like that. Um, and he does have them made somewhat often. Like I said, though, they're just not in quite the bigger quantities. So you got to hop on it once you get your chance. But like I said, if you get your chance, hop on it because they really are that good. That's the Pena X-Series front flippers. And this particularly is the Apache version. Now, next up at number three, this may surprise some people because this knife still does not get enough respect in the knife community. It's the VBR from Varga Knives. This was a newer release this year, and it is just an absolute 
gorgeous, gorgeous knife. If you like Kinder XM18s, this is absolutely one you gotta check out. Um, somewhat similar to an XM18, but it feels so much better in hand. The Ergos are literally twice as good as an XM18. Uh, very comparable in size, but the blade is also much, much better than an XM18. It's, it's actually kind of like the, um, the Redencion 229, only it's not a, a full Tonto, it's just a compound grind with a drop point. And it is a slicing beast as well. Very, very comparable to that Redencion 229 in terms of sliciness and grind. Just a very, very nice hollow grind. And I really like the way they work the inlay with this. It kind of has that nice little downward angle um, of the transition point. And again, it is just, you could, you pretty much don't feel the line. I mean, you it, it, it's so fine and so subtle. It's just an excellent job and excellent attention to detail. You also have some very, very nice burlap micarta. And that's another thing that really sets Riot apart from everybody else is their quality of materials. You don't see burlap micarta this good anywhere else. It really is fantastic. Um, it still has that tackiness with none of the fuzziness or deterioration you see with some of the micarta. So really, really good there. And then just nice, clean finishing all around the knife and really an excellent design by Mark himself because when this knife is closed, it's just so smooth. There's nothing, there's nothing breaking the top up here. The actual profile of the design, whether it's open or closed is very, very streamlined. Just, just an excellent, excellent knife. It carries very well in the pocket. You don't have much sticking out and it's just an excellent EDC, especially if you are a Hinderer fan, but you want that Riot quality which I would argue Riot's quality is better than Hinderer. I would. I, I know a lot of people probably aren't going to like that, but I have definitely had more issues with Hinderer than I have with Riot. It's just the facts of life. That's just how it is. But um, quality is just on point, and this whole design is on point, and just a very, very nice offering. This is the Varga Knives VBR. If you want to get one, these are probably are still available. As a matter of fact, I really should specify that. If you like these, get a hold of, uh, of Mark Varga over at Varga Knives. Um, you can look up his Instagram, Varga Knives, and uh, follow him on there. Shoot him a message, and uh, he can he can set you up and uh, fill you in on when you could get one. And I know, I don't know if the Micarta version is still available, but I believe there are still some versions of these available. If not, there are probably more coming, but uh, get a hold of him and he should be able to help you out there. Next up, we're at number two. And this is another one. I don't think a lot of people see this one coming, but it, they should because it's really that good. This is the Wingman EDC Tom Mayo MTNT Mach 3. I got this last year and I was not expecting to like this as much as I do. And I really do love it. It feels great in hand. It kind of has this, this little um, part of the handle here where your index finger goes and it really does. You still get like a three and a half finger grip and your thumb goes up on some really nice jimping. And it really is a good position there. But then what I like to do is just move up and hold it right here. You kind of have a gap between your your uh, index finger and middle finger, and it still feels it still feels fine. And your uh, your pinky wraps around the bottom, and it just it fits in hand very very nice. It's somewhat of a slimmer knife, um, even though it's all titanium due to the size. The weight is not that bad at all. Um, very very smooth and glassy. I wouldn't necessarily call it drop shutty. You can you can shake it shut pretty easily, but it's not necessarily a guillotine, which I like. Um, you know, I, I like the drop shooting guillotine action, but I also like the smooth glassy action that you have with this, and it is glassy. Just because you know glassiness, the gla the term glassiness with a knife or you know glassy action, a lot of people you know they refer it to uh, to Chris Reeve knives, and and that's fine, they are, but. To me, the true glassiness of an action is right here. It's not necessarily how fast or how slow it's moving, it's how smooth it moves. It's, it's, it's like imagining the detent ball moving on a piece of glass, so you just feel absolutely nothing. Um, and I would consider this glassy, absolutely. It feels so good. Um, the design and the profile of the knife is pretty amazing. It's definitely a smaller knife, but fantastic front flipping action. 
Um, I, I would put this right up there with the React Tribute. I've never owned one, but I've handled one just briefly. I just recently was able to get a hold of one. And it, I, I personally, I personally do like this over the Tribute. I don't necessarily like the All Titanium. I really, really wanted the version with the green fat carbon inlays on the outside. I slept on it too long. I waited and I, I wasn't able to get one, but I really do like this all tie version, but I do prefer this over the Tribute. And the Tribute's a great knife. I mean, they're actually very similar, um, but I like that this one is a little slimmer. It's not quite as thick as the Tribute, so it carries better in the pocket. And it is just an absolute fantastic little piece. The middle finger flicking action on this guy is fantastic kicks out so well it's probably the smallest knife uh, uh, how, how do i word this it's a small knife but i enjoy middle finger flicking it as much as a full-size knife and i really cannot say that for many small knives um usually smaller knives are still very middle finger flickable for me but they present a little more challenges make it harder not this one it's just the action's fantastic the blade's fantastic the whole build it's a great design by Wingman EDC and one that I really hope they make another run of for everyone to check out in the near future. It's a mouthful. It's the Wingman EDC Tom Mayo MTNT Mach 3 by Riot, well, produced by Riot, coming in at number two. It's a fantastic one. And next up and last up, number one. Do we have any guesses? You may have guessed this one. This is the Sharp by Design Void. And this is, I don't think Riot or Brian Nadeau even know, knew how good this was going to be before it was made. Because I, I think a lot of it has to do with the design by Brian and the execution by Riot. But this is just buttery. I mean, it is absolute butter all day. It middle finger flicks as good as any knife that I've ever handled the only one that it's up there with is the Brian Brown Jaeger, and it, the Jaeger may have a slight edge over it. Like I said before, I'm, I'm basically tied between those two. If I had to pick one, I'd probably go with the Jaeger, but oh, this one is just so, so darn good. Um, the, the design and the lines on this are so unique. Um, the flipping action is fantastic. The Brian Nato detent system, which as you can see in there, it's not a detent ball. It's like a little uh, slab of steel, which is, I believe, all part of this. It almost kind of reminds me of a, like a brake pad on your car. It's, it's kind of a, it's very, very different, but makes for killer action. And the clothes on this guy. Oh, it's so good. So, so good. You get some great acoustic, great acoustics from that detent system, and you just get an absolutely fantastic action overall. As far as I'm concerned, middle finger flicking, this is the only way to go. The only drawback to this knife is sometimes you, you got to be careful if you put too much pressure on that lock bar, which it's kind of easy to do with this knife based off the design. Um, you can get it caught up, but as you can see, I figured that out. And once you figure it out, it's really not hard to, to just get around and avoid. Um, and you can you can flick it out all day. Very, very reliable. Um, but just listen. Listen to that tink. It's so good. It's so unique. It's it's one that I wish I would have gotten earlier because I wouldn't have gotten this aspirated version. I definitely would have gotten one with uh, the carbon fiber inlay. So shame on me. I waited too long. I didn't even really know about this release. I was so caught up with other stuff. I just completely missed out on it. And that was my fault. And I really did miss out on it. Luckily, I was able to get one of these recently from Blade HQ somehow, some way. Um, unbeknown to me, they still had some in stock, so I picked this up because I just had to. I like it that much. I love it. Um, I do think it is the overall probably best knife that Riot has ever made, at least that I've handled. Um, the Jaeger could probably be up there in that in that discussion as well, but this is just such a good one. And guys, I'm telling you, follow Brian Nadeau on Instagram. Um, pay attention to his releases because the guy is a genius when it comes to knife designing. He's got more good ones coming out of the line, and they're all made by Riot, and they're absolutely all worth checking out. They really, really are that good. Um, definitely becoming one of my favorite designers is uh, is Brian Nado, and I'm so glad he goes with Riot. So you get so you get final production runs like this that are just absolutely fantastic. 
So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna get these all lined up here again. Now I'm sure, I know there's already a lot of people saying he left this one out, he left that one out. What is wrong with him? I don't know, there's probably a lot wrong with me, but I try, you know? I try and give you guys some good lists. But let me know what you think. Let me know, let me get these in order. We have that, 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 and that. Yeah, that, just like that. So here we go, one through five guys. Let me know um, how close was I or how far off was I. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I kind of came up with this one on the fly because I thought it would be fun because React does just make some absolutely great pieces. So there you go. How did I do? What did I miss out? I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.